betrayal! The perfect union of cunning robber Baron George Russell and his even more formidable wife Bertha is the emotional focal point of HBO's The Gilded Age. The Russells are driven by personal ambition and committed to raising their family's social status at all price. They are equals in every manner. It has seemed for a very long time that nothing could ever separate these soulmates. That is, until Turner reappeared in the guise of Mrs. Winterton and confronted Bertha with some fabricated rumors about her stay at the Russells' home. Yes, Bertha Russell finally discovers in the Gilded Age Season 2 Episode 3 Head to Head that Turner snuck into George's bed in an attempt to seduce him. While George squashed Turner's advances, as soon as he realized he'd been tricked, Bertha is still absolutely apoplectic. It's not just that tomfoolery happened between her former maid and her husband. It's that her husband kept it from her for so long. What I love about the series is that George and Bertha Russell are very much a team. I mean, even though we're 1880s and, you know, there are specific gender roles. They have a voice in each other's lives in a way that I think modern couples do today. The Gilded Age executive producer Sonia Warfield told Decider, When we asked her about the bomb, Turner's return set off in the Russell's life. So I think that it's a betrayal because they're such a solid team, and they don't have that kind of marriage where they keep secrets. Bertha definitely thinks it's a betrayal, complete with capital letters and a period. She informs George that it was disgusting that he allowed Turner to continue working as a maid after she had been found nude in his bed. After learning what had happened, it's evident that Bertha feels humiliated by being kept in the dark, in addition to being hurt by the secrecy. However, how are showrunners Julian Fellows and Sonia Warfield of the Gilded Age able to do this to George and Bertha? What's more, how are they able to treat fans like this? All relationships have, you know, their challenges, and so that it wouldn't be TV, drama, if they didn't have something. Some kind of challenge Warfield told Decider. Julian's work and my work, as well it's rooted in what's real, right? Because this is a historical drama. We draw from historical facts. But what's real is that these two people are in a real kind of partnership, and in any partnership. Whether it's professional or business or whatever, all relationships have problems. A lot of the time, just when you think that things are on easy street, there's a problem that you don't know about that's under the surface. Although Bertha deserves some credit for helping George by entertaining Mr. Henderson, the head of the labor union, she doesn't warm up to him at all during the episode. Bertha doesn't ask George to perform a magic trick. So they can be introduced until she finds out that a certain Duke of Buckingham is going to be in the area. And will my mistakes be forgotten if I succeed? George queries. Bertha responds tactfully, find the Duke, get me an introduction, and then we'll talk. We're going to be positive and assume that the Russells might get back together sooner than we expect. Given that the upcoming episode of The Gilded Age is titled His Grace the Duke, and we already know that Ben Lamb has been cast as the Duke of Buckingham. 